Hi everyone, welcome to my next tutorial, Packages. I am Krishna Goyal and you can contact me at my email id krishnagoyal75 at gmail.com. Let us learn about packages. The package statement defines a namespace in which classes are stored. We have used packages in our earlier programs many a times. To create a package is quite easy. Simply include a package command as the first statement in a Java source file. You must keep in mind that the package command must be the first statement. You can create a hierarchy of packages. To do so, simply separate each package name from the another by use of a period. The general form of a multi-level package statement is shown here. Package which is a keyword, pkg1 that is package1, pkg2 is package2 which is contained in package1 and pkg3 is a package3 which is contained in package2. With packages there comes the concept of access specifier for classes. When a class is declared public then it can be accessed by any other class in any package. When a class is declared as private, then it can be accessed only by the same class. When a class is protected, it can be accessed by all classes in package and only subclasses outside package. And if the class is default public, that is, we do not use any access specifier be before the class name, then it can only be accessed inside the package. The next thing is how to import a class from other package. We have already made use of import javautil.scanner in our earlier program where we took input name, age and roll number as input. Here Java is a package, util is a sub package which is contained in package Java and scanner is a class in package util. When we need to create an object of class scanner in another package, we need to import this package and class into our package and our class. Import java.util.scanner will allow us to make use of scanner class objects. This was all about packages. Thank you everyone. See you soon in our next video.